We're going to look at equivalent logs here. And in this problem, we have mostly coefficients outside and we need, we need the uh, property, the log property that deals with a coefficient or a multiplication by a constant outside. And we're going to look at the textbook and this is page 438, theorem 6.6. The first two rules do come in handy, but we don't need them here. This last rule is what we're going to need again and again. And what it says is multiplication outside by uh, W becomes a power on the inside of a log. So we're going to use this rule. So I'm going to write an equivalent version of this first expression here. So we have seven times log of this. So I'm going to move the, now there's no base, so that means the base is 10, uh, but we, that's not super important here. We have u to the negative one fourth. Now I have a power of a power. So that seven became a exponent of the entire inside. And the way we write that is with an extra parentheses as uh, I wrap this u to the negative one fourth with. How do we deal with the power of a power? So that's another rule we're going to need. And that's a to the b to the c power. A power of a power is a product. So if you have a to the b to the c, it's a to the b times c power. And that's what we're going to do here. We have one fourth to the seventh. So that's going to become one fourth times seven. And you can think of seven as seven over one when you multiply. So we're gonna have seven negative one fourths or negative seven fourths. Okay, so those are some equivalent versions of the original. Now we're gonna see if we can transform, uh, we'll start with the one here, see if we can transform that into the original. So what can we do first? Well. This is one over. So let's go ahead and deal with, what does this root right here mean? So it's actually a fourth root or a one fourth power. So u to the seventh is there first to the one fourth power. From here, we have a power of a power right here. That's a product, which is seven fourths. And now we're going to reciprocate it or bring this up top by making the power negative. And that rule, a to the negative b power is 1 over a to the b power. So you can reciprocate by making the exponent negative. And right there, that is what's on the line above. So this first one is equivalent. All right, the second one here, well, pretty much we already did all that work because that just starts right there. So that's also gonna be equivalent. All right, next up, we have a negative. How do we deal with negative? We're gonna write it as negative one times the log of this thing. And now, just like we saw before, we're gonna take this negative and it's gonna become the new exponent here. So we have log of u to the seven fourths to the negative one. And now I have a power of a power, which is a product. So that negative seven fourths times negative one, or positive seven fourths times negative one is negative seven fourths. And again, that is the same as we get at the top. Okay, so the next one, I'm not gonna work all the way out, but just remember, here's your coefficient and it's gonna become a power. And the last one, here's your coefficient, it's negative. So when it becomes a power, and remember you have u to the seventh, so you need to wrap it with an extra parentheses. So you're gonna have power of a power here and the negative will eventually reciprocate it when you simplify it. 